My name is Dennis Johnson. I'm 55 years old. I own and operate Click Lanes. We are a small 16 lane bowling center with eight lanes on two different floors. Very unique, although we have two of them here in Grand Rapids, it's a very unique setup. We do a lot of private parties here in individual groups. Click Lanes opened up in uh, 1953. The Orlikowski family built the center and owned it for 50 years. And in 2003, my partner Mike Naraki and I purchased the center from the Orlikowski family. The Click Age is very unique because we have two different floors uh, with eight lanes on each floor. So we're not necessarily your traditional bowling center with 34 week seasons. We do a lot of mini leagues here so that we can accommodate more room for private parties. So we put an emphasis on private parties and more of open bowling just as much as we do for league bowling here. Two floors uh, makes everything different and everything unique. One of the running jokes here at the Click is that the elevator's been on back order since 1953. So we hope to get it in anytime soon, but we are able to run so many different unique things. Uh, for example, we can run a league downstairs and a graduation party upstairs or a private party upstairs. No outsiders walking in through your party to get shoes, to go to the bar, to go to the restroom like some of the other centers. So that if you do have a party, you're not getting interrupted and downstairs of the league, you're not getting interrupted with the party bowlers either. It's always been one of my goals to be the friendliest bowling center in town. So try to keep my staff greeting people when they come in the door here at the Click and also when they leave saying thank you and how much we appreciate them. Um, we try to go out of our way of knowing all of our bowlers by name and addressing them by their first name to make it much more personal than just a place where they come and spend money. The walls over the years, if they could talk about some of the parties that we've had here, many kids parties, many bachelorette parties, bachelor parties, questionable things have happened here. One of the unique stories here at the Click uh, is probably in 2005, 2006, we were putting a new roof on the Click. And the company that we were using forgot to put a plug in one of the drains on the roof. And we were replacing some of the pipes here on the inside for the drains. And when it started to rain, the rain came in off the roof, right down onto lane 16. And we had a waterfall going right down the lane. Um, it leaked through the floor, went right on down to lane eight. Luckily, it was just during open bowling, so we only had to inconvenience a few people, but uh, it was literally a waterfall coming right down into the center. Some of the other stories it would tell probably before we got here, there's stories of them using fish line and putting it into the finish when, when you had the uh, wood lanes and they would put a new coat of finish on. They would put fish line in there and help the ball make it to the pocket. Other stories are that they would use a two by four and put a little track in the track area to help the ball make it to the pocket. Don't know if any of these stories are true or not. That's obviously when they had wood lanes, but interesting stories along those lines. We have plenty of stories of kids' birthday parties, of adult parties, surprise birthday parties, bachelorette parties. The walls could tell you different stories of what happened at these parties and let your imagination go. My favorite part of owning the Click is the people. The different people we meet every night, it's not the same people. You just learn to appreciate them and their different stories. Everybody has a role. It doesn't matter if you're a, a painter, a ditch digger, um, a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, uh, whatever you are, you're welcome here at the Click. You come in, you tell your story, and when you're here, you're just Joe Blow Bowler having a few beers, having a good time, and hopefully you forget about your worries and what happened at work today, and you have a, just relax and enjoy yourself for the evening. Our clientele is vastly different. A favorite memory always has to do with uh, the people. We would not be nearly as successful as what we are without the staff that we've had. So the favorite memories are when we're able to help a staff member out, we're able to help make a party work. To see people enjoy the facility and have an event go off flawlessly or no one know what the problem was and just have a good time. Hopefully then they'll tell more people and word of mouth advertising is so much better than any advertising I can pay for. I think that's the best part of it there is the people taking care of other people. My staff taking care of parties that come in, make sure they have a good time. We host
most leagues every night of the week, whether it be uh, just downstairs or on both floors, also on Saturdays and Sundays. Once again, trying to leave one floor open uh, on the weekends for parties or open bowling. And kind of the thought behind that is if you have open bowling year round, we are letting people know that we have open bowling during the winter season and also during the summer season, not just during the summer season. So they're not getting trained to go someplace else, go to the movies, go to the golf courses, go to mini golf or anything like that, other entertainment venues. They know that we'll have open bowling for them year round. So that's worked out pretty well. As far as tournaments go, because of the size of our center, we really only run two tournaments a year. And that would be our junior tournament, day after Thanksgiving day, and Christmas Eve sweeper that we run for the adults. And by far, the most favorite tournament that we host for me to run is the day after Thanksgiving Junior Elimination Tournament. Uh, it's a unique format, uh, something that no one else has copied here in the area. Kids like to bowl match play, introduces them to, to match play, and it just, it just is a very unique tournament and uh, hopefully one that we will continue to, to run after the uh, COVID season that we had. We didn't run it last year. If you want to come to a friendly bowling center where bowling is our primary focus, learn a, bit, a little bit more about your game, hopefully get better at it, we can help you with that. But we are definitely our bowling center where you can get a drink, not a bar where you can bowl. Come bowl to click.